Hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome to the Retro Future. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Game Box Arrival SP. What a beautiful name, the Game Box Arrival SP. I mean, Game Box, kind of, sure, you can, you can understand that. SP, they've just whacked that on there for the sake of it. Arrival. Where has that come from? We have the Sea Battle version, uh, but we've also got Soccer, comma, car racing, uh, we've got C battle with a lowercase b, even though car racing has a, I don't think quality was their number one priority, they wanted to make it look as much like the, uh, the, J the Japanese and Chinese Game Boy Advance SP boxes, uh, whack a fairly similar name on it and hope that when Nana went out to the shop for Christmas to buy little Jimbo a, uh, a Game Boy Advance SP and she came back with the Game Box Arrival SP. Uh, so we've got Basketball and uh, we've also got Space Intruder. Uh, again, with a lowercase i, where's the consistency? The whole back of it is, uh, is Chinese and the sides uh, are all the same. So without any further ado, Let's roll the intro. So as I said earlier, this is actually the box design uh, for the Asian Game Boys. Um, I'm fairly certain uh, Asian, but definitely Japanese. Um, I'll put some pictures up of those on the screen. Um, I'm not actually sure if this thing works. I did put some batteries in it, but then I, I haven't looked at it yet um, other than the photos because I'd like to try and save my full reaction for the uh, the video. So, let's take this thing out. The box is definitely a lot smaller um, than I was expecting, so I kind of thought then that the actual device itself was going to be smaller than the standard size Game Boy, but I have here a pink Game Boy Advance SP AGS 101, uh, so we're going to use that to compare. Okay, so there's a little manual here, let's open that up and see what we've got. It looks like it's, yeah, it's completely in Chinese. Not a single bit of English anywhere to be seen. Okay, and here is the Game Box Arrival SP itself. And oh my goodness, it is actually the same size. That is crazy. In fact, I think they've used a Game Boy to mold this because look, they've got the fake cutouts there. That is bizarre. Look, it's exactly the same. That is exactly the same, it just hasn't got any ports anywhere. And then at the bottom where the, where the uh, cartridge goes, that's the, uh, the battery cover. Wow, that is wild. It takes two AAA batteries, by the way. Um, I'm honestly quite surprised by that. This thing looks in mint condition. I don't think it's ever been used. I wonder why. It hasn't got the Nintendo logo at the bottom there. Um, it hasn't got any sort of company name on here. It would have been absolutely amazing if they put something in there, but obviously save a bit of cost. Here we go. That is actually quite difficult to, to achieve. And what is all of these locking points? You've either got completely flush or the next one is like a 45 degree angle. That's that's ideal. So now I'm playing like this. <laughs> anyway, so this is the uh, the inside. You can see there what I'm on about with the, uh, we're just gonna have to slightly bend it. There we go. So you can see inside, it's actually looking fairly similar. The screen is obviously a lot smaller. Um, there's three buttons up here as opposed to one. We've got the uh, the different, What's right? Okay, that's going to be strange to get used to. Um, not that we're going to be playing this thing for very long. Uh, but yeah, the A and B buttons are in a slightly different orientation. We have a directional pad, but it is more just, well, it is four individual buttons as opposed to a single pad. Uh, there's no buttons down here. We've got some artwork, the C battle artwork. What are we looking at here? We've got something and an explosion. Yeah, that's nice. That That's nice. You can't actually make out what any of it is, but... Nice. This speaker hole is actually fake, and that's gonna be the speaker on the back. No, that that is just molded in. That's not even a real speaker hole. Why did they waste their time with that? I guess to give it something there, otherwise it would have looked quite empty. Um, okay, so there's actually a screen protector still on this, which is excellent. Let's take that off. There is our sea battle game. Now I can't imagine this is gonna to be too great, but obviously the, the most amazing thing about this is the fact that it's called the Game Box Arrival SP and it looks like that. Just wonderful. Right, so let's get some Game Box Arrival action. Here we go, so we want start. That's a nice little jingle. I'm trying to understand what's going on here. So I'm a little boat or am I a submarine? I'm not totally sure. Um, and there's some planes above me, they're shooting down at me and I'm shooting up at them. And then there's some things underneath me 
which I'm not sure what they are. Are they sharks? It doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense. Trying to trying to get this in the, the viewing angle here. It doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense. Um, and also, it, the bullets take so long to fire up that you've got... Oh, there we go. I shot a plane down. I shot another one. But But they're not... But the planes aren't... There's still two. I'm shooting them down. There's another one. Look, I shot it down, but then there's another... How do you win this? Oh, I see. Okay. You don't win this. You basically just keep going and you see how high your score is. So you just run around, don't get shot, shoot the enemy planes. Oh, there we go. They've sunk me. Actually, that's the only way you can see it properly. Goodness me. Sorry if you've missed some of that. But yeah, can you see there? You're, you're just a little boat. You're running around and you have to shoot the planes above you. And I died again. Okay, we've got one more life and then presumably it's going to be game over. Very hard to understand what's actually going on here. So yeah, I think, I think you literally just get more points the more you shoot their planes. <gasps> Oh no, we've actually won something. We're onto another level. God, this is far more complicated than I thought it was. Oh, okay, I died again. But when you get onto the next level, it seems that you get more lives because we've now only got one damaged submarine again. Look, this is this is fairly okay. Look, we've got a mute button up here. We've got the reset button. Um, you can see when you press reset, all of the different sort of sprites there. So there we go. That is Sea Battle, a surprisingly fun game. I mean, it's very, very basic. You just have to move around, dodge their bullets, and shoot them. And that is all it is. And it's going to go on for a very long time. And the music is going to do your head in. Luckily, they have incorporated the mute button there. Um, but it's pretty fun. I'm not going to lie, a lot more fun than I thought. It, at least it's an actual game that you can understand eventually what's going on. And you can see the screen because some of these things are so bad that you can't even see what's going on. Sea Battle uh, on the Game Box Arrival SP. Absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, I won't be able to leave a link to one of these because. This is old stuff. Uh, I bought this on Yahoo Auctions using Sendico.com. Uh, I'll leave a link to their website if you want to try and find one yourself. Um, but yeah, very pleased with that. I like it a lot. It's more one of those things for the collection than something I'll sit down and play on a regular. Because let's face it, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching, everyone. I uh, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Goodbye.